Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CRS The Commentary, answering viewers, and this one will be uh, another one by Zemo, and here you go laughing already, what? It's the way you said, this one will be another one, <laughs> and then you pause, I'm like, well, yeah, it's another one. Oh well, yeah. And then you said by Zemo, it made sense. Thank you. Girl, let me get there. I might pause. It ain't gonna be like Biden or Mitch McConnell, but it's it, it's a shorter oh, pose. Oh no! So you know the just, politicians, the frozen ones. Yes, penguins is like we in the Arctic and we don't even stop that long. So unless they're on the egg. Even on the egg, they moving. <laughs> I don't see them talk trash on an egg, and at an egg. So. <laughs> Well, I don't know what they're doing. They're just leaning their heads down and yeah. at the egg. I figured maybe the egg pissed them off. I'm Look, like, you derailed this one, not me. What? No, you start. <laughs> okay. okay, start the piglets. <laughs> Look, he says, "Thank you for the response, guys. It's always been, it's always fun to listen to your comments, and and thank you. We we appreciate your comments too, because we show enough. I was like, we got to start talking about this more because Zimbo is usually saying very interesting stuff." Yeah. That leads into other conversations and whatnot. Um, so, you know, if Zimmo, you ever start some kind of project, trust and believe we're going to advertise it. That's just what we're going to do. So, uh, he says, at first, I never understood the appeal of Gold Dust, but the more I learned about him, the more I grew to respect and appreciate him. The fact that he quoted classic films made him even better. As a movie buff myself, I love that aspect of his character. And I'm like, you're a movie buff? Zemo is a movie buff? That is excellent because so am I. Yeah. That was one of the things I loved about Gold Dust too. And I was young, but I dug it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? And then, of course, all the pageantry, the lights yes. and the glitter and his outfit and the music. I was there for it and then when he got Marlena and she was strange with that long cigar I was young I was like what is this I thought it was just perfect <laughs> I, I, I did too they, they, he, should, he could have been a world champion or company world champion yes because really it's not, not really, the world yeah it's not the heavyweight world. champion or flagship champion I don't whatever know whatever you want to call it but he, he really could have been that would have been that could have been a hell of a run. He, yep. was, he was awesome. But, you know, they had their top at the time and they didn't want him a part of it. Yeah. Just like uh, the one what you had noticed about uh, Sami Zayn. You was like, you said it when we was watching. Uh, we're, I'm working on Money in the Bank. But um, you said Sami Zayn. You, you just said, I think he hit his zenith. Yeah, I asked you. I was like, "Is he? has he been world champion? And you said no. Yeah, not that I know of. And I was like, I think he's hit his zenith. Because he does not look like a WWE world champion. He he's not is, he's not buff. He's not built. He's, he's not, not toned up. Polished. All of their champions look like they stood in the back and got buffed and edged up from head to toe. No matter their style, they look clean and put together. Very like Braun Breaker. Like Braun Breaker. Like Damian Priest. Yes. Damien Priest. He didn't look like that in Ring of Honor. No hair is out of place on that man. The sisters <laughs> got a hold of his head. He looked <laughs> look magnificent. He should be holding on to that belt. He ain't uh, going to keep it. That's fine, but he got it. That's the, that's the whole yeah. point. And he got it. You know what's crazy? I, 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 don't, I don't think I can find it because it's way back in the archives. But I was like, if Damian Priest goes to WWE, he's going to be a champion. He's going to be a world champion. That. I remember you saying that. Cody Rhodes, for various reasons, he's got the belt, but he looks polished. Except for that ISO on his neck, he looks polished. <laughs> his wife wasn't with him that day. I, I bet you a nickel. His wife was not with him that day. You think Brandon, like he came home? What the hell is that? Yes, yes. Don't you like it, honey? And she just gave him that look. It probably walked off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's too late now. Yeah, well, not matter if I like it, right? It's too late. <laughs> um, but I, yeah. know, I think I'm going to get a tattoo on my neck. What, what kind of tattoos? Like, you know, like 
the American flag, but it be dark and stuff. I don't think you should do that. Yeah, it's so like, it's from like, like from my ear down to my butt. Oh, oh no, no, you, you no, shouldn't no. do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't think you should do that. Then he goes and does it. She wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Sami Zayn. I think he's hit his zenith. I don't see him becoming either champion on the show. Whereas Brian Breaker, he looks polished from head to toe. His hair nicely cut, edged up, facial hair perfect. He don't look like he's dirty. I'm sorry, is that Sami Zayn like he needs to be scrubbed? Yeah, he do. His outfit is well put together, well thought out. Yeah. He's got his gimmick and everything down. And he's an athlete. He fits the WWE mold to a T. He will, at some point, barring he does not get hurt, be a world champion. Hopefully he didn't hurt his knee at Money in the Bank. Hopefully. But I saw that and I was... His athleticism is epic, but he don't need, he don't need to be doing that nah. move unless he can get it right and you can use crash pads and stuff until you can get it right. And don't do it every darn week. Do it <laughs> only in a major match. Yes. Not just any title match. A ma- it's got to be at a pay-per-view. They got to pay to see that. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. They got to pay. Um, let's see. Zemo says, Dustin made Goldust into one of the Best characters in WWF history. Yes. I love Dustin. He is great in the ring and on the mic. Old age has only made him better. The man deserves more recognition for all his hard work. And that's, yes. I agree. I just wish he stopped bleeding. Well, I think you're just doing that depending upon who he's working with. It and, like it was every, for, and it was for nothing. But yeah, but it's like every time I see him work, he's busted open. Well, yeah. But that was, but that was like what the last... Two matches that you saw him in. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, I don't, okay. People got a habit of seeing something once or twice and saying every time. And that's I'm, no, I'm serious, man. From the first time he got there and wrestled with Cody to the last match I saw Damn, him in, I can't remember the time he didn't bleed during yeah. the match. Damn. Damn. What's up with him? I don't know. Yeah. And it's probably not every match because there, but there were large swaths of time where yeah. I didn't watch. Tag you matches, didn't watch. He didn't. yeah, but those one-on-one matches, it's just they did a whole pay per view where nobody shed a drop of blood. It's just not necessary, Dustin. You too good for that. Yes, he's too good for that. WWE has a notorious track record of undermining black wrestlers. Kofi was the first black WWE champion, but Vince booked him like a mid card. And mid mid Carter and had him drop the belt to Lesnar. Say what you will about TNA and Ring of Honor, they know how to book black strong and treat them with respect. I'm sure he left out people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> book black people strong. I'm like, okay, Zimbo. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says I never, I never really took issue with Cody's ring gear. But look, just just harken back. But yeah. Moose, good grief. He's he yeah. looks dominant. He does. His mic skills he need a little work. Or he needs something else to work with. Or he's probably too afraid to say what he wanna say, so he has to measure his words which, yeah, maybe which he, might make mess him up. I did not think about that. He could be measuring his words. Like you don't want to just get out of control because then you start saying things that's colloquial or things you would say with a buddy instead yeah, of that then you might start sharing information. You learn in the back that shouldn't be public knowledge. You know, you, 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 don't wanna, know. you don't want to Adam Page it. You don't want to Jeff Jarrett it. <laughs> Good <laughs> grief. Oh, man, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> you have to meet him outside, man. Put your shoes on. Yep. We, go, we put, going put outside. Put your shoes on. We, we going, going outside. outside. <laughs> 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 we got to fight about this. You talking all that trash. I can tell you right now, they need... I'll be honest with you. Wrestling needs an actual, this is going to sound really bad for me. They need an actual black man on the mic. There's certain ways that predominantly black people talk and they don't have to say certain things. But when you come off with mad attitude, someone that pissed you off. Like, for example, Let's say I was a wrestler, okay? Matter of fact, put 
me in Keith Lee's body. I forgot about him. Okay. And someone that, you know, okay, they done ran in on his match. They cost him a match. I don't like what you've done to me. This was a very, very poor decision on your part. It's like, what? What? Motherfucker, what? It should be more like, have you lost your mind? You gonna run in on my match? All right, I'm going out to the ring right now. Bring your ass. And that's it. Like Shane Taylor? Yes. The one that they stopped booking. Yeah. That we know of. We yeah, haven't watched yeah, Ring of Honor in ages. But there's a certain way. You know? The Rock has it, but he has to be measured so he uses catchphrases to silence what he would otherwise say. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, Ron Simmons was having it, but I'm sure they felt maybe he aged out or, well, if you push him out of the tag team, he would have to be a black champion. And like I said, Vince won't gonna let any person be the WWF World Heavyweight Champion. No black person was ever gonna get that. But you can be the Raw World Champion. Or the SmackDown World Champion, but you can't be the WWE World Champion. You yeah. know that's, yeah, yeah. So when somebody was like, I don't know if it was Zemo. No, no, no. It was somebody on Discord. It was like, no, Kobe Kingston. He was the, he was the first black WWF well WWE champion. I said, was it the Raw or SmackDown belt? It was like Raw. I said. But it wasn't WWE World, was it? And it was like, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> you can have a side dish. You can't have the whole plate. There you go. Um. So let's see. He says I never really took issue with Cody's ring gear. And yeah. I mean, no one should. It's good. Cody's ring gear is awesome. Yeah. I, I just think his suit pants are too tight. I don't want to see him. No, we're just open. talking about wrestling gear. Why, when, when did that come up as an issue? I, no, no. He just he's just saying it. Oh, okay. I'm I was, sorry. Because I mentioned that I liked his, his gear. We talked about. Oh, I'm there now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His gear's been looking good. He got his, he coordinates Since very AEW, well. Since AEW, his gear looked great. Yeah, his, he coordinates very well. He says, uh, let's see. I was referring to Dwayne taking the main event spot from Roman. I'm not a Cody fan, but that move was BS. If this was just a cheap ploy to get everyone invested, it was low. Um, yeah, yeah, can't, yeah. Because that was, that was, if that's all that was, was just to spark the fans up, that's jacked up. That was panic. Let's see. He says, I have said it once, I'll say it again. Fans are fickle and ungrateful. They begged for Cody to beat Roman, and now they whine about him being champion? What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're Springfieldians. We need Springfieldians. <laughs> uh, we, Cody, Cody, Cody. I want it, everyone. I want it. Yeah, you didn't have it too long. I ain't had it a month. <laughs> Look. MGO316, Transformers Reviews and whatnot. I watch his live streams every once in a while because they're very enjoyable. He, he's very interactive with the fans, and I like that. But it was two months after WrestleMania, he was already saying Cody needs to get rid of the belt. And I'm like, what? In order to be a prestigious champion, you have to legitimately defend that belt every 30 days. You need challenging opponents. WWE hasn't built any up yet. So he had to wrestle AJ twice in three months, roughly and thereof. I, it's like they're coming down on Cody for a failing in the WWE structure because there is nobody else. Yes. So now they've got it's, on board with Cody and it's not Cody's fault. It's the same as blaming YouTube because you're too chicken shit to blame Google. That thing that everyone says, Google this, Google that, Google this. And you, you don't want to be mad at Google. You'll be mad at YouTube, which is owned by Google, but you won't leave YouTube when there's others out there. 
or people who got money who are sick of YouTube could band together and make a new service and do it right without the abuse of capitalism and right wing slanting on everything could do that options right options okay first one's up uh hold up it's nope no paid promotions uh elements checks everything is right you know what uh yep we good so publish so the first one boop that's gone up close that all right so now it says when i heard roman has cancer i was shocked honestly the fact that he still continued to wrestle after his cancer went into re into remission is inspiring now granted i can understand where you're coming from but once it goes into remission i'm i'm, I'm actually bothered by the word remission because that means it's not gone I think that that's because once you develop cancer, even if it's no longer there, even they put you under Superman's eye and he says it's not there, the potential is always there for it to return. And I believe that's why they say remission, because if they say you're cured and then they come back, they're like, you said it was cured. But it would be accurate. How's it, how, how, how does it look? It looks clear. Well, let's go. Ah, I thought you said it was clear. I said it looks clear. Said, well, how does it look now? It looks clear. <laughs> but consider this. The cancer is gone. Is the reason the cancer took hold gone? Especially if it's genetic. If it's genetic and something in the cell just flipped on and say, hey, we're going to produce until we can't produce no more. I, 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 I get it. I'm, I'm not slow on the uptake and I'm no, not I, trying to be mm. unsympathetic. It's just, if you, if they get rid of the cancer, mm -hmm. they beat it down until it's no longer there. Mm -hmm. It's just not there anymore. It's gone. We cured you of the cancer. It doesn't mean it won't come. Well, it doesn't mean a new one won't show up because it's gone. It's gone, gone. Mm -hmm. If it's really gone, gone. And then the body says, you know what? It's been about six months. Let's just flip this switch and start again. It's not come back. It's new. And I, I get it because everyone is, I get it. It's colloquial. It's easier to just say it, you know, it came back. You know, I, I get it. I, I'm, I, it's just, I wish there was something else because it gives the false impression that it never was, it was never beaten. And that can affect somebody's mentality because if it's, oh yeah, it came back. You know, so at that juncture, you know, That'll make you feel like there's no hope. Like this is always going to be here. This is never going to leave. But if you let them know, no, it's out your body. It's gone. That don't mean your body won't start it up again. But right now, it's not there. We should check once a month. Maybe that's what some, some providers do. I think that's what should. Once you have been diagnosed with it, they should check you once a month. That's what I think. You know? It shouldn't be reserved just because somebody is a superstar or well known. It should be for everybody. You know. I think it's remarkable that he was wrestling while undergoing treatment. Yes. While he was taking chemo. That he's And I think he was wrestling for a month. And I think it was like, look, we you know, we didn't hit a limit. The new chemo treatment is gonna do some things. So you you know it's best you drop the belt and according and to what i read is he, he's going to be on chemo for the rest, the rest of, of his days yes it's it must be something highly aggressive leukemia leukemia typically is the i i believe that su the success rate for uh stopping leukemia in children is fairly high i don't know about uh, in adults like percentages but Anecdotally, typically, when adults develop leukemia, it takes them out. And that, you know, that, that that's why we need better health care, universal health care, because it's, it shouldn't be, do you have the money to live? It should be, if you're in the best country, if you're in the free world, and we're supposed to be the greatest, you need to show it. You need to show it. 
Take care of your people. Take care of them. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be put them on the street because they don't have money. It should be addressed why they don't have money. Fix the problem. Don't fix them. Fix what's ailing them. Mm -hmm. Now, if they got a gambling problem, well, the fuck them then. They got the, that's on them. Well, you done gambled your money away. Get the fuck on out my face, man. It's a problem, though. Just like a, if it, that's just like if it were in a, dick, a, a drug addiction. It's a problem. You know, that's where it's like you said, like you're wearing a dick. <laughs> it's a no. Who wears a dick? <laughs> Damn it. I, just like if you were a, a, an addiction to a substance. It's just the substance is not <laughs> a drug. It's gambling. Don't be laughing about drugs and substances. I'm laughing at you. I didn't say anything. Keep going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You know what you said. What did I say? You're the one speaking I, about costumes. I'm, costumes? Well, yeah. I didn't say anything about a costume. So, what, what, what would it be if you was wearing a dick? <laughs> because that's not what I said. Move on. 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 We was having a nice, heartfelt conversation and stuff. I'm sure we pulled the fans in a little bit. Some of them probably was like, I don't worry about this stuff, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. And he says, sadly, your thoughts on this partnership, talking about uh, TNA NXT, mm -hmm. is similar to mine. Despite the fact that TNA has actually improved over the years, Triple H would rather book TNA to face WWE developmental talent. That tells me that Triple H has zero respect for the company and has no plans to feature the TNA roster on the main show, but I might be proven wrong in the future. At least I hope I am proven wrong. And that's kind of how I function. I might say some really messed up off the wall stuff, and I might say some really doom and gloom stuff, but I'll be hoping so much that I'm wrong. Prove me wrong so we can, so I can know there's hope. Prove me wrong so I can know there's hope. That's usually where my my mindset is. Because I'll tell you the truth. And I'll tell you what it looked like, and I'll tell you what it like where it's going. But prove me wrong so there's hope. You know. Yeah. That's that's what I want. You know. But yeah, what what that was is no different than when I used to ask for participants from. The people around, hey, send a tag team. I could put them in crashing seas. They're like, oh, okay, I'll send you my jobbers. What? what? I don't want send that. Me your What's your damn <laughs> One, if you send me your jobbers, you let me know, fuck your show. Yeah. Two, if your jobbers start whooping my people's ass, I'm going to have a problem. Yeah. You know, so you, you got to make it so your company's battles are a win-win, you know. I don't know if you was getting down or scratching. You just you had the hand banana look on your face. And it, I was scratching. Like okay, okay. <laughs> look up hand banana because she was she was all in that. <laughs> and just just biting the bottom lip and like your, your hand was just fist pump, fist pump. You know, I was like, man, she gonna throw her shirt soon. She gonna be like Muscle Man. I just threw my shirt. You just okay. My back was itching. <laughs> all right. Then and then he says. uh, Noah, the other, uh, Noah, N-O-A-H, uh, the other hands getting to, I don't understand, no, the, the other hands, okay, I don't know, this is Getz and AJ Styles versus Mata Fuji match this month on the 13th of July, and he goes, thanks again, guys, and like, thank you, and then uh, RFH Extra, he, he says, I like it. All right. I like it. Thank you for liking it. Um, I don't really go over those comments because it's just, you know, I like it or this video is awesome and I usually just upvote them and whatnot, which I am doing and I am upvoting that. And yeah, I, you know, AJ Styles, Mata Fuji. Yep. I really, sometimes I want to go back and look at Milano Collection AT's matches. Every once in a while. Yeah. I But I'm like, I got too much to do. And then it just gets lost. And then I just don't watch. And then sometimes I want to go back and watch 
the few Magnum TA matches that they probably still got on tape. Um, I wouldn't mind going back and watching old school demolition matches. Um, because I want to uh, sometimes some some of Axe's moves I want to put into the game, but I also want to do it almost as well as he did, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so thanks, Zimmer, for the comment, and you know, we we appreciate it. Gives us plenty to talk about. We didn't, I didn't think, I was like, we'll see how this goes, but yeah, you know, thank you. We appreciate it. So look, we're going to get about it for this one and get that uploaded. So this has been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary answering viewers. And we want y'all to be chill, be safe and cool because it'd be hot out there. You ain't lying. And we'll see you next time.